Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about scheduling a job in the Linux. In the Linux term, we call that cron job. Cron refers to the time. So cron job is to run a job or run a command in a specific time. We manage the cron job in a file named cron tab that stands for cron table. The Linux cron tab is similar to Windows task schedules. Cron tab is very useful for routine tasks like scheduling a system scanning, daily backups, etc. Cron job executes the job or the commands automatically in the backend at a specified time and interval. So let's see how to create a cron job in a cron tab. To open the cron tab, we use the command cron tab dash e. So right now cron tab is empty. We don't have any cron job in our cron tab so before creating a cron job let's talk about the structure of cron tab there are six columns in cron tab first column second third fourth fifth and sixth the first column is for the minute in hour so here we can give the value from 0 to 59 the second column is for the hours in a day so in a day we have 24 hours so we can give 0 to 23 the third column is for the day in a month so in a month we have normally 30 days so we can give the value of 1 to 30 then the fourth column is for the month so we have 12 months so we can give 1 to 12 or we can also give the name of the month that is we can give Jan Fev to December then the fifth column is for the day in a week so we have 7 days so we can give value from 1 to 7 or we can also give the name of the days like Sunday, Monday to Saturday and finally the last column, the sixth column is for the command that we want to execute in a specific time so the last column is the command like we can create a directory we can create a file we can echo something or let's say we can start or stop some services like firewall or apache or ssh any command and for example let's say in this fourth column we give the value asterisk then that means this specific command will run in a specific minute, hour and a day of the month for every month. So since we have given asterisk then that means this command will apply for every month that is from January to December. But since we have given Saturday in the fifth column this command will run only on Saturday in this specific minute and hour. So for example if we give here and 0 so this means this command will run on Saturday only at exactly 3 a.m. on any month but let's say if we change this Saturday to asterisk as well so now this command will run every day of the week that is from Sunday to Saturday at exactly 3 a.m. if we change this third column so let's say if we give the value of 1 now this command will run on the first day of every month at exactly 3 a.m. no matter what day is it so this command will run just once a month 
that is on the first of every month exactly at 3 a.m. and since we have given asterisk in the day column so it can be on any day but let's say if we change this asterisk to Monday now the command will run on first of every month if only the first of month is Monday that is if the first of month is some other day like Sunday or Tuesday or Wednesday the command will not run now let's say we make this asterisk we make this one asterisk 2 and the second column asterisk as well and we just give the value to the first column that is for the minutes let's say 5 and let's also give some real command here let's say echo hello world so now since we have given this fifth column asterisk that means the echo hello world will run every day of the week that is from Sunday to Saturday since we have given this fourth column asterisk as well that means the echo hello world will run on every month that is from January to December since we have given the third column asterisk as well that means the echo hello world will run every day of the month that is from first of month to the last of month and since we have given this second column asterisk as well then that means the hello world the echo hello world will run on every hour and since we have given 5 at the first column that means the echo hello world will run on each hour past 5 that means in each hour after the 5 minutes the echo hello world will run for example right now the time is 12.01 so if we save this cron job then at 12.05 this echo hello world will run and then after another hour that is at 1 or 5 or 1 o'clock past 5 minutes the echo hello world will run again at 2 o'clock past 5 minutes then again the echo hello world will run and so on okay so now let's see the real example so right now it's 12 13 a.m. so let's create a cron job for 15 minutes let's give a strict for everything except the command let's print hello and let's save it into a file in our home directory john with the name cron.txt let's save it and let's restart the cron d we are john so let's give the password of john okay so it says authentication complete now if we see the list here we have three files here we have two files john.txt and paul.txt and we have one directory dir but we have created a cron job at 12 15 am since we have given the 15 in the minutes so each hour after the 15 minutes it will create a text file named cron.txt and inside the cron.txt there should be the text hello now it's it has been 1215 so when we check before the 1215 we had these two files now if we check the list then you can see here we have cron.txt if we check the contents inside the cron.txt there is hello and if we check the ls with lh attribute so as you can see this cron.txt was created in 12 15 am so 00, 0 means 12 since the cron job uses the 24 hour system when it is 12 am it takes the value of double zero and when it's at 12 pm then it will take the value of 23 so since we had scheduled the tasks to create the cron.txt with the content hello at every 15 minutes of hour so in the 12 15 am it created the cron.txt so now after one hour that is at 1 15 am it will again again run that command 
if you want to see what jobs you have scheduled in the cron tab without opening the cron tab then you can use the command cron tab minus l sorry cron tab minus l and it will show you all the commands or all the jobs that you have scheduled in the cron tab now let's see some more example let's go to the cron tab file again so this command we have given here is really a static command because we have given the command to create a cron.txt and save hello in that cron text but every time this command will run there will be no changes because every time it will just create the cron.txt with the hello but if we give here redirection twice now it makes more sense because since we have given this double redirection now every hour at 15 minutes it will add the text hello in the cron.txt so instead of having just one hello every hour there will be one more hello in the cron.txt you can give any command here let's say if you give the command mkdir then in the home directory of john you want to create a directory name folder one then every hour at 15 minutes it will create the directory named folder one and let's say if you want to start and stop firewall in a specific time every day then you can also do it using the cron tab so the command to start the firewall is systemctl start firewall d and let's say if you want to start the firewall every day at 10 am so for the minutes you can just give 0 and for the hour you can give 10 so this is to start the firewall and to stop the firewall we can give one more cron job so let's say you want to stop the firewall at 5 p.m. so for the minutes there will be 0 and 5 p.m. is 17 and since you want to start and stop the firewall every day you can just give asterisk and here you can give the command to stop the firewall and now if you save this cron job then every day at 10 a.m. the firewall service will start and every day at 5 p.m. the firewall service will stop and you can just go on and play with these columns so let's say if I give in the fifth column the value of let's say Sunday so now the firewall will start at 10 a.m. only on Sunday and if I give this fourth column the value of January now the firewall service will start at 10 a.m. on Sunday only on the month of January and if I give this third column a value of let's say 10 now the firewall service will start at 10 a.m. on the 10th of January if only that day is Sunday so you can just adjust your own time and run any command you like and let me show you some more features of this cron tab so let's say for now we have given the value of zero for the minutes in this first cron job but we can also give multiple values using the comma so let's give 5 comma 10 comma 20 so now for the first column we have given four values 0 5 10 and 20 so that means this command will run at 10 a.m and 10 5 a.m 10 10 a.m and 10 20 a.m on the following days and month and we can also give the value like uh, asterisk front slash 10 then that means this command will run after every 10 minutes in the following time so what I mean is uh, when we give this value of 10 now this command will run 
at only 10 10 a.m but if we give asterisk slash 10 then that means the command will run after every 10 minutes so that means this command will run at 10 10 a.m then 10 20 a.m then again at 10 30 a.m 10 40 a.m 10 50 a.m and 10 60 a.m that is 11 a.m and you can also use the same concept for other columns also so let's say for the third column if we give the asterisk slash 10 now that means this command will run on every 10th day of the january so the command will run at 10th of january then 20th of january then 30th of january so the cron jobs are really important and powerful features of the linux and basically cron jobs are used to create the daily backup or to scan the system at a particular time but you can use this cron tab or cron job for any command you like and you can also choose the specific time and date when you want to run that command so it's really powerful and one of the amazing features of linux hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning Goodbye.